All right, hey everybody. Uh, my name is Adin, as I mentioned before. Uh, I am one of the maintainers of Kubo, formerly known as Go IPFS, uh, the, the, the oldest IPFS implementation, one you are probably aware of. So one of the prompts was like, what is this and who is it for? And this is really hard because as has been alluded to earlier, it's sort of been like everyone wants to use it for everything. Um, I think I tried, I tried to like boil it down to what are too many bullet points here, right? But like it stores public data and helps you try to advertise and move it around in a peer-to-peer -peer network. It works best when working with smaller sets of data, which is sort of how it started. Um, you know, it runs in some of like, it try, people have made it run in a lot of very weird places. The places that the maintainers try and support are these ones, Linux, OSX, Windows. Um, we have some tools which you're familiar with, like HTTP gateway APIs um, to help with, with compatibility with existing systems. Um, and we have some CLI and HTTP APIs to help people you know, use that tooling. Internally, Kubo has this, this client daemon architecture, right? There's a long running process and then you issue commands that are effectively HTTP commands against that process to do your work. Has trade-offs. Uh, so this long running daemon uh, that, that does this has to, it gets to you know, cache and keep all of your, your network connections, your database connections and all of that around at the cost of you gotta keep this thing running. Um, and then in order to help with configurability, we, we give people knobs to turn in a config file, and we have some plugin things that people can use to modify GoIPFS without needing to, or Kubo, I'm sorry, should put it in the swear jar, um, <laughs> uh, without, without needing to worry about all the, the concerns that come with forking uh, you know, a big repository that has lots and lots of changes coming into it. Uh, this is a fraction of, of, I guess, the diagram of how things work internally, which is kind of why it's a little complicated. Um, the, the big pieces here are sort of like, there's the networking pieces at the bottom, there's, some, there's this abstraction over databases at the side, you have some UnixFS pieces, and then you're sort of just trying to glue them all together in order to let your, you know, some of your most standard commands, IPFS add and get, do the job for you. Right? And somewhat awkwardly, right, uh, define what is IPFS. There's this IPNS thing, which also exists, that deals with mutable data, right? Um, and, and public key namespaces, which is sort of very obviously glued on when you compare it to the immutable space, right? Um, sort of interesting, it's like how people, whether people even think is IPNS part of the IPFS spec or the IPFS concept, or is it something that lives near it, is a friend, right? Um, yeah, where are we? Uh, in a lot of places, and in, in, in most of the places that you will find IPFS things, there, there is a Kubo thing sort of nearby. Um, HTTP, the HTTP gateways that most of you have used have, you know, uh, are, backed by, are backed by Kubo. There are new implementations that are coming that have, or exist already, that have other sorts of uh, backing nodes, but for the most part, this is Kubo. There are others that embed uh, Kubo in some way, uh, which one which alluded to earlier today, including you know, Brave, IPFS Cluster, Desktop, and Companion. There are some like, common infrastructure nodes that have no specific reason to run Kubo other than they help, they help us stress test it and they run there, like uh, public DHT bootstrapper nodes and preload nodes. Um, hard to find stats on how many users have installed Kubo, because most of the places that we host it and make it available, we don't track stats. <laughs> we want to let people just fetch it. You can fetch it over IPFS itself, um, which, makes, which makes tracking those sorts of numbers hard. If we look at the public DHT, it's almost exclusively the server side. If you are an IPFS node that is also an IPFS public DHT server node, you're Kubo. Be nice if we can get more of that. There's been some progress in, in both Rust and JS lib P2P to make that possible. Uh, Kubo's been around for a long time. A lot of people have contributed to the project. Uh, found over 300 or some looking through GitHub. Uh, the set of maintainers, um, 
are responsible for helping triage all of the commits that come in and PRs for many people uh, and moving some of the stuff along are, are up there. Uh, there's me, uh, Lytle, Gus, Antonio, and Hugo, uh, who you will, you will see around. We're here. Come chat with us. We're, we're pretty friendly. Um, yeah, so you know, if, you, if you want to contribute, contribute to, to Kubo, or if you want to be a maintainer, please. There is, there are, I think Juan showed like many, many open PRs and issues and stuff. Like, we got stuff for you, don't worry. Um, Kubo is, is in a lot of places, right? Uh, lots of ASs, you know, that we're not running inside of clouds. There's a lot of people running things in clouds. There's a lot of people running them at home. Um, interesting thing, so a lot of the maintainers of the Kubo project are, for some historical reasons, uh, also just, we do a lot of things with the IP test community in general, and we are also uh, maintainers for some of the, the many uh, IPFS libraries written in Go uh, that, that Kubo and other projects rely on. Um, and so we sort of try and balance, uh, balance our work there between making Kubo better and also making the tooling better for the rest of the community and the rest of the implementations. Uh, we are fairly confident that Kubo is not for everyone, but we hope IPFS can be. Um, we've got a bunch of things coming up uh, for our roadmap. Most important things to consider here are that we are going to have an unconf session this week where we can talk about more of these. Some of these are maybe things we want to do. Maybe there's things here that we missed. We have a huge laundry list of things with that, you know, many, many issues. But uh, yeah, if you're interested, uh, come join us. Um, some things Kubo isn't suited for. There could be a long list. But uh, some big ones are like large infrastructure um, tends to require a lot of control that for nodes that are also running on like desktop machines, like the, creating a config file that isn't impossible to manage uh, is very difficult. Um, and large infrastructure providers tend to need more control over that. Um, short-lived spin up, do the, you know, send someone your data, short-lived fetch your data also not well suited for because of this whole running a daemon that controls all of the resources thing that happens. And, and of course, some other platforms that have more, more limited access, whether it's phones or inside of browser tabs. Uh, and just, I guess, because of the historical nature of Kubo being used by lots of people in the IPFS ecosystem, there are lots of like niche use cases where it'd be like, yes, your, your platform or your specific application really could use that optimization, that makes like a ton of sense. But it can't work in Kubo because of the set of people that have to be supported. Um, all right, so where are we at? Uh, the oldest IPFS implementation, it's written in Go, supported in some common operating systems, has a lot of traction in wide use cases, not, not for everywhere though. Um, and uh, there are a lot of community uh, members uh, in the public IPFS channels who contribute to Kubo. Um, so come say hi and uh, hang out with us. Thanks.